Hi friends, I am Yashwadnan and today I am my project is about obstacle detection using an IR sensor module and an Arduino Uno. Now before we go into the project, let us understand what is an Arduino Uno. An Arduino Uno is a small microcontroller which is consisting of a microcontroller unit or a microcontroller chip at Mega 320. The Arduino Uno which I am using, it consists of 6 analog pins some 13 digital pins and uh, it is consisting of an input VN, VN pin where we can give an input voltage of 6 volts to 20 volts then it is consisting of two ground pins and a 5 volts output pin and a 3.3 volts output pin it is consisting of a reset button in order to reset the code that is onto the board now whenever you buy uh, Arduino Uno it has an inbuilt blinking code now it also contains easy to use hardware and the, and the easy to use software called Arduino IDE or Arduino Integra Integrated Development Environment where we, can, we, where we can write the code in a simple C language and then push the using a USB, USB cable we can just easily push the code onto this Arduino Uno board now this USB board can either is used to interact with the system with the with the with the software in order to take the input the code onto the Arduino Uno or else give the input give the output to the computer and also to power this board. Now, if you don't want to power the board using a using your laptop, you can even power the board using a nine volts battery using this mail header using the mail header pin. For this, you need the nine volts battery. If you want to power it using a 9 volts battery, you need to buy a clip, battery, 9 volts battery clip, which is consisting of main header pin. Now, now let us move these things aside and let us concentrate on the main sensor which we are going to use in our project, which is nothing but the IR sensor module. An IR sensor module consisting of, it consists of an IR LED and an IR receiver. Then it is also consisting of a potentiometer an operation amplifier and three out three pins out of which this right mode this pin is the vcc middle pin is the ground and the third pin is the output pin the basic working principle is nothing but the reflection of reflection of the infrared radiation infrared light now whenever this whenever we supply a vcc and ground we whenever we supply a vcc of five volts and the ground and we ground the ground pin and we connect the out uh, then if we then then this IR sensor IR LED starts to emit an infrared radiation infrared light which is not detected by the naked eye now whenever some object is there then this infrared radiation light after hitting the object gets uh, gets reflected back and gets received by this IR sensor receiver once this IR sensor receives the engine, a small voltage is developed which is given to this operation amplifier this operation amplifier amplifies that voltage and gives an inverted output to the output pin that is when an obstacle is present it gives a gives a output of z this zero and whenever the obstacle is not present it gives an output of one the gain of this operation amplifier is determined by these two small SM which you can see. Now, now the IR sensor module can detect any obstacle which is at a distance of 0 cm to 2 cm or from a 0 cm to 10 cm. That means its maximum distance which it can is, is can be varied from 2 cm to 10 cm by just changing the position of this position potential meter now whenever if you buy a new IR, if you buy a new IR sensor module and you don't know what is its range then there is a easy and easy method to find to what is the range of this Arduin, this IR sensor module hi friend, friends now this is a code which i am going to use for in my obstacle detection experiment so first of all i am initializing an in, a variable called sensor status which is used to store the status of my IR sensor and I'm declaring that the that my variable is an integer and initializing I'm initializing it to zero that it is a at loop now in the void setup 
I am declaring the, I am first initializing my serial monitor using the serial dot begin 9600 byte. Then I am declaring pin addition number pin two pin two as my input pin and pin number eight, pin number seven, and pin number twelve as my output pin. Then in the void loop, first of all, I am telling I am using a command called dictionary in order to read the status of the pin number two, and then I am assigning that to my variable called sensor status then i am saying the code to print on the serial monitor sensor status then now if it did now if the sensor status is equal to zero that means an obstacle is detected then i am saying my pin number a pin number seven should be high and the c and on the serial monitor it should print obstacle ahead and pin number 12 should be kept low now if the sensor status is equal to one that is there is no object then pin number 8 and pin number 7 should be low whereas pin number 12 should be high indicating that and it should print on the all is all clear then it should wait for a delay of one, to one second and again go on executing while void loop once you have type once you have keep i will link the code in the description below once you have written this code you need to click on verify in order to verify the verify the code Once your code is verified, you need to go to Tools, click on Board, and select the what kind of Arduino board you are using. Arduino board, and select the type of Arduino board. Then click on Port and click on the port to which port which port you have connected your Arduino Uno. Once these have been done, you need to go to here, click on uh, click on Upload. Now it will start uploading my sketch onto my Arduino Uno. Then uh, once it is uploaded, this cell is just done uploading. Friends, this is a circuit diagram which I am connecting. Let us let me explain how I connect it. This is a IR sensor to which I connected three wire. This this wire is the red or red wire which you are which I am giving it to positive voltage. This is the wire which I am giving it to ground. And this is the output wire which I am giving to digital pin number two of Arduino. Now to the buzzer. Buzzer's negative I have grounded, whereas buzzer positive I am giving it to the pin number 7. Now, to the LED, LED negative or cathode I have grounded, and red LEDs and green LEDs cathodes is grounded, whereas to the positive I have connected resistor, whose other end is connected, the red LED is positive, then resistor, the positive terminal is connected to this pin number 8. And this this is green LEDs resistor, green LEDs the re, positive terminal is connected to pin number twelve, and uh, and the five volt output of five volts is given as my positive, and ground is taken as grounded. Now this is the thing. Now uh, to show you, I have disconnected the USB from this APU because now as the obstacle is now. Now it is facing now air sensor is facing downwards to the board due to which the buzzer will grow. So to avoid this, I have disconnected the power supply. Now once you are satisfied with your setup, you need to connect the USB. Friends, now I have connected the USB port and I have already shown how I can how to upload the code. Now once the code is uploaded, now you need to see. Now whenever they, now there is no obstacle in your head. So a green LED is growing which indicates no obstacle is there. Now if I bring my finger it acts as an obstacle due to which you can observe the buzzer is going buzzer there is a buzzer going on and also the red LED is now. Now whenever I remove my finger there is no obstacle and the green LED is again turning on. Now if I bring my finger again then it is acting as an obstacle and the buzzer is turning on along with the red LED. Now if I again remove the finger it is green LED is turning on. Indicating that I used, indicating the obs, it is detecting an obstacle. Let us see to maximum what distance it can detect. See, this is the maximum distance to it can detect. Now, if you want to uh, want the, the sensor to detect even more, you can just turn this LED knob, this potentiometer knob, and you can increase the distance. Now, hi friends. Now, once the code is being uploaded, now you. Once the code is uploaded, you need to go to Tools, click on CM Monitor, or you can use the shortcut key Ctrl plus Shift plus capital M. Click on it. 
now see you are get that now as there is no obstacle in the way of my IR sensor it is showing one and it is all clear now whenever I bring my finger to the obstacle then it is showing a zero there is an obstacle and obstacle ahead now I remove the finger at this point and it is showing one there is all clear which is a good sign thank you the IR sensor which I am showing now it can be used in many many ways like it can use for used in security system it can be used in radio in uh, digital in thermo radiation thermometers where we we can without touching the thermometer we can at from a distance we can know what is the temperature of person which is used in many shops in the recent times it is used to detect an obstacle place at some distance it is used in the creation of some creation of line follower this the advantages are these are very cheap and these are easily available and they are easier to build and these are the available now thanks for watching friends and have a nice day